Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to the 2020 finale of LEGO History 2! Yay! Thank you for coming. We're so glad you're here because this is the because this is the final episode of LEGO History 2 for 2020. And we're glad you're here because this is it. The final moment of life has begun. Oh my gosh, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, the final episode of LEGO History 2 for 2020. Man! I can't wait for it. So be prepared as we as I present to you the final logo history two of 2020. So I want to thank all of you out there for for sending me for sending me my logos throughout the throughout the coming years and throughout the coming days. And thanks all of you for the for the requesting those logos. You guys rock. Anyways, are you ready to get the show started? Great. Then let's get started. The final episode of logo history two for 2020. Before we move on to 2021. Welcome to, the, to, welcome to the 2020 finale of Loco History 2. For episode number 10, we are taking a look at Marvel Studios, Warner Brothers Animation, Duracell, KPTV, and KPDX. So, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I hope you're well, too. Let's do it. And here we go. But before we do, if it's a for Logopedia, credit goes out to everyone. I don't want any images I see here as, uh, uh, that you're about to see today. And if it's a ticket for credit goes to everyone. Thank you for your support. And now, without a way, let's get started! First, we're going to take a look at Marvel Studios at the local ones requested by Tim Milkshake Boy 80. So, thank you for the request, Tim Milkshake Boy 80. We're going to go check out his channel. I'll leave it down below in the video description. So, thank you, Tim Milkshake Boy 80, for the request. Now, here's the short for those who don't know what Marvel Studios is. Marvel Studios LLC, originally known as Marvel Films, from 1993 to 1996, is an American film and television studio that is a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Studios. Marvel Studios is known for the production of the Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe films, based on characters that appear in Marvel Comics publications. Marvel Studios has released two has released 23 films in 2008 within the Marvel Cinematic Universe from Iron Man in 2008 to Spider-Man Far From Home in 2019. These films all share continuity with each other, along with, along with the watch shots produced by the studio and the television shows produced by Marvel Television. In addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios was also involved with the production of other Marvel character film franchises that have exceeded $1 billion in North American box office revenue, the X-Men and Spider-Man multi-film franchises. Marvel Studios is also developing television series, which all which will air on Disney Plus, and will oversee production for for remaining Marvel television series following uh, following its following into Marvel Studios. And about Disney Plus, I already talked about it on episode 157 of my other show, Local History. So please go watch. If you haven't seen it yet, I have very good to do so. But okay, but take a look at the stats here. The studio name is Marvel Studios. Industry is film and television. Founded on December 7, 1993, owned by the Walt Disney Studios. Headquarters are at the Frank G. Wells Building, 2nd floor, 500 South Buena Vista Street, Burbank, California, United States. They do not have this logo, and the website is, w and the website is marvel.com slash movies. The link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out. And now, without the way, I think we're ready for this, so let's get started. The logo is of Marvel Studios. 2002-2012, the company was founded as Marvel Entertainment, or just simply Marvel. So, you know, so we have a red red tickle inside this world, Marvel, a white text, so that... Oh, that's it right here. 2012 to 2014, same as the previous logo, except the font has changed, and that's pretty much it. Uh, 2018 to the present, same as the previous, it was the same as the 2000 to 2012 logo, but now it is, uh, it is now on a white outline, and now both of the words in association with in black text. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All that's over here. Here's the version with the 2012 logo. Uh, 2008 to 2011, they changed it into Marvel Studios. So, here we have a red red tickle inside those were Marvel and white text. Under it, there are two white lines, and between those were studios in white text. So that's pretty much it. August is, is, is over here. Here's a version with the longer rectangle and the horizontal version with both words in black text. Um, 2013 to 2016, same as the previous little look up, but now the, 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 both, the, the, two, the both, both white lines have been removed. The, the font of Marvel has changed. The rectangle is now the white outline. The word series is now outside the rectangle. The font has changed as well. And it is now in black text. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty much it. Here's the version with the red paint ground. And finally, 2016 to the present, the font of series has changed again. It is now on the right of the rectangle. And now above it, there's and now above the worst studios, there's a white line, and under another worst studios, there's another black line. So now you know. Uh, so that yep, above and other worst studios, there are there there are two black lines. So now that's pretty much it. Here's the print version, the 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 inverted version, the tenth anniversary version, and the tenth anniversary version with their slogan, the first ten years. So that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to Warner Brothers Animation. So be prepared for it. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And look, was also requested by the was also requested by Tell Milkshake Boy eighty. So thank you for the request once again. Again, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below if you want to go check it out. For now, let's get started as we take a look at the short part for those of you who don't know what Warner Brothers Animation is. Warner Brothers Animation is an American animation studio owned by the Global Kids, Young Adults, and Classics Division of Warner Brothers Entertainment. The studio is closely associated with the Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's characters. Among others, hmm, and I know. The studio is the successor to Warner Bros. cartoons, the studio which produced Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's cartoon stories from 1933 to 1963. 
and from 1967 to 1969. One reestablished its animation division in 1980 to produce Looney Tunes related works. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, no. In recent years, Warner Bros. Animation has focused primarily on producing television and direct to video animation, featuring characters created by other properties for owned by Warner Bros., including DC Comics, the original Metro Gore Mayor's Cartoon Studio through Turner Entertainment Company, and Hanna Barbera Productions. So, yeah, that's very much it. And I'll talk about all those in future episodes of Logo History or Logo History 2, so keep an eye out for those when they come out. But looking at stats here, so the names of Warner Bros. Animations, the industry's film television, founded in 1980, owned by Warner Bros., Global Kids, Young Adults, and Classics. Headquarters are at 411 North Hollywood Way, uh, North, North, North Hollywood Way, Perfect California, United States. They do not have a slogan and they do not have a website, but that's okay because I love this logo so much. So, without being further ado, let's begin. I present to you the logo history of Warner Bros. Animation. 1960s, 1960s, the company was founded as Warner Bros. Pictures Television Division. If it's anyway, so we have a uh, so we have a black and white shield, and with a with a letter, so we have a black shield with a negative space transparent, and we write down the word uh, "don't want to be" in a transparent text on a black online. So yeah, so that's pretty pretty for the logo here. 1970, they changed the name to Warner Bros. Seven Arts. So we have the letter W in black text, and coming out of it, there's implied number seven. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 1970, 1972, they changed the name to Warner Bros. Television. So we have a red shield. Uh, on gold online inside there are there are the WB and golden text under it and under those letters there's a red red tickle audio gold online inside there are words Water Bros there are words Water and Bros in golden text and whole logo on the way background so yeah yeah that's pretty much it for the logo here 1972 to 1984 we have the words Water Bros and television in black text under it there's a black rounded shape and inside there are three white lines the three white shapes from saying the letter W called the big W and on the, and on that black shape there are the words on water communications and company in black text so that's all I gotta say about here, and the whole logo is on the white background, so that you can say about here. Uh, 1984 to 1986 and 2010 to 2013, we have a black shield on a white and black outline inside their letters WB in white text. So, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say about here. Um, 1990 to 1995, unless they changed the name to Warner Bros. Animation. So, yay. So, we have a blue shield on a gold online inside their letters WB in, in, in golden text, and surrounded, the, and surrounded the shield, there's a golden banner, and on it, there are the words Warner Bros. Animation in golden text. So, yeah, that you have to worry about here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, here is the print version. 2003, 2014. Sam is pretty look at said the, the, the test became brighter, the look became much brighter, and the final other words, Water Bros. Enemies have changed. So yeah, that's all I got to say about here. Here is uh, here's an alternative version with uh, with with a, with a darker tint. So now you know. Um, and there's also the Looney and also the 3D version and the Looney Tunes show version. Uh, and, and finally, 2010 to the present, we have a red shield on a white outline inside their letters W to be in white text, and between them there's a white dot. Under the uh, and under the shield, there's more animation in dark gray text. So yeah, that's all I got to say over here. That's pretty much it. Here's the print version. The version of print version. Uh, the version with the white shadow. The version with the black shadow. The, the, the shield. The shield itself. The print version of the shield itself. The inverted. The inverted print version of the shield itself and the horizontal version used in theatrical releases. All right, guys, it's time to move on to story cell. Trusted everywhere. Um, and the logo was requested by Juan Carlos Press, the Moshi Monsters fan, 2021. So thank you for the request. Juan Carlos Press, the Moshi Monsters fan, 2021. If you want to go check his out, leave it down below in the description. So thank you for the request. Thanks, thanks for the quest one. Now let's get to the short part of the What Doracell is? Doracell Incorporated is an American manufacturing company owned by Berkshire Hathaway that produces batteries and smart power systems. The company has its oranges in the 1920s through the work of Samuel Ruin and Phil Mallory and the formation of the P.R. Mallory Company. Through a number of corporate merchants and acquisitions, Doracell came to be owned by the consumer, consumer products conglomerate P&G, a.k.a. Procter & Gamble. In November 2014, P&G reached an agreement to sell the company to Berkshire Hathaway through a transfer of shares. Under the deal, Berkshire Hathaway exchanged the shares it held in P&G for ownership of the Doracell business. So, now you know. That's all i got to say right here. Uh, listen, look at the stats for Doracell. The brand name is Doracell. Products include batteries and spark power systems. Founded in uh, 1924. Owned by Berkshire Hathaway. Headquarters are in Bethlehem, Connecticut, the United States. And in Geneva, Switzerland. The slogan is Trust is Power. And the website is www.doracell.com. If you're interested, the link will be in the description below. Now, let's begin. We're trusted everywhere. As I present to you a logo of Doracell. 1961-1977, we have a black background on it. There's a white rectangle inside. There's a metal ring in. There's a metal in black text. Except the letters M and Y are bigger. And above the letters A, L, L, O, and R, there's a black line. On the right, the rectangle, there are words, cell, echo line, and battery in White text and on uh, and on the bottom right, uh, and the top right, there's a trademark sign. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. Uh, 1977, eighty-five. We have the word Doracell in white text and white and white original trademark sign, all on all black background. So that's pretty much it here. That's eighty-five, to 1988, We have the word Doracell in black text, and that's all I gotta say about here. That's eighty-eight, to 1979, Same as the previous logo. That's the letter C. Now it looks different. 
So now you know. Um, to, uh, nice to night, nice to night, Same as the previous locus of the fonts change, and that's what you say. He has a virtual with the third so funny, and finally, just another to the rest that the text is less thicker, and the fonts change. So now you know. Guys, let's time to move on to. to let's move on to KBTV! Oh my gosh. Can't believe it. Time to take a look at KBTV. And this look was requested by the Mystery Fan 2020. So thank you for the request, Mystery Fan 2020. Want to go check out shot? Leave a download of these questions. So thank you for the rest. Now let's get to the show part for those who know what KBTV is. KBTV, virtual and be check Jason Show 12. It's a Fox Civilian Television Station licensed to Portland, Oregon, United States. The station is owned by the Meredith Local Media Subsidiary of Des Moines, Iowa based Meredith Corporation. As part of a duopoly with Vancouver, Washington license, by number TV affiliate KBDX Channel 49, which I'll talk about later on in the video, so please stay tuned. Um, the studio station share studios on Northwest Greenbrier Parkway in Beaverton. KPTV's transmitter is located in the Sylvan Highlands section of, uh, of Portland. However, mass clear control and some internal operations are based at Meredith's West Coast Hub facility at the shared studios of CBS affiliate KPHO and independent TV television station KTVK in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'll talk about both of them in future episodes series, so please keep an eye for those when they come out. Look at stats here. Uh, station call are KPTV, branded as Fox 12 Oregon, General and News Reporter Al Q, uh, and, uh, as well as Fox 12 News uh, uh, for newscasts. Number of affiliation is Fox, launch day is September 20, 1952, on Mariner Corporation, uh, through KPTV, KPEX Broadcast Corporation, headquarters are people to Oregon, United States. Their slogan is first, live, local, and the website is www.kptv.com. Are you ready for this? The link will be in the description below, so go check it out. But right now, are you ready for this? Let's get started with the local history of KPTV. 1952, we have a background, a silver background with a, with a mountain on it, and on it there's where KPTV and white text on a, on a black drop channel. Under it there's reporter and black text. Under it there's a channel and black text. Under it there's a black number 27. So yeah, that, that number right here. 1953, we have a, uh, 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 we have a building, uh, we have a bridge, uh, uh, we have a bridge uh, above a river that's, for, that's from Portland, Oregon. So yeah, you know, and on it there's a white rectangle. Inside there's where KPTV and black text. Under it there's a black, uh, there's a word, there's a word channel and black text. Under it there's a black on 27. And under it there's a word Portland, Oregon and black text. And and also on the bridge there's another white rectangle. And there's another white rectangle. Inside there are three black circles. And on it there are large NBC and white text. Under it those circles there's a word television in black text. So that's all I'm going to say right here. Uh, 1953 to 1954, we have, we, have, we have a black rounded rectangle inside. There's where, there's where KPTV and black text under it. There's a black, this word channel and black text. As you see, see there's a KPTV and white text under it. There's a word channel and white text under it. There's a weight of, on the right of it, there's a weight of 27. And everything, there are three green, there are three teal circles on them. There are large and BC and black text. And on the right of all those circles, that's where television and white text. And the whole logo is on the white background. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Nothing else is where we're here, but that's pretty much it. 1954 to 1955, we have a uh, black rounded shape inside. There's where KPTV in white text under it. There are three white circles, and inside there are letters N, B, and C in black text. Under all those circles, those were television in white text. And on the right of them, there's and on the bottom right of the shape, there's another uh, there's another shape, but this time white on a red outline. Inside those were channel and white text under it. There's a black number 27. Excuse me, those were channel black text under it. There's a black number 27, and the whole one's on the white background. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. 1955, 1961, we have more KPTV and black text under it. There's a there's a word channel and black text on the right of it. There's a black on the 12th. And on the right of it, there are three black rectangles, each one with different heights. On them, there are large N, B, and C, and black uh, and white text. And under them, there's a black mallet. So yeah, you, you know it. And the whole is on a white background. So that's pretty much it here. 1961, 1962, we have the words KPTV and shot and black text on the right of it. There's a white shape on a black outline that results in our A. And inside, there's a black number 12. So, guys, you know the drill by now. I really love it here. 1962-1964. On the silver background, we have the word KPTV and black text on the way of outline. Under it, there's Earth. Uh, on the bottom right of it, there's Earth. And there's also and there also four black rings orbiting around the Earth. And on and on Earth, there's a black number 12 on the way outline. And on the bottom right of the word... Uh, and, on, and on the bottom right of the Earth, there are words Portland and or in black text. So, now, you know. Man, do let us know here. 1964, we have the oh, we have the word KPTV in black text on the right of it. There's a white circle on the black outline inside. There's a black on twelve, and behind the red text and behind the circle, there there are two black lines. And between those, we're Portland in in black text, and the whole logo is on the white background. So yeah, it's like all that's over here, but that's very much it. 1964 to 1965, we have a blue ticket, and inside there are two. Instead of there are three blue rectangles, both all of which are on black outlines. Inside the first one, there was just the ticket in, in Portland in black text. Inside the second one, there's a black number 12. And inside the third one, there's a black shape that looks, that looks like a shooting star. And on the right of it, there's where KPTV and white text on a black outline. And the whole logo's on a white background. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. 1965 to 1967, we have a black, look at that, we have four, we have four. Orange arrow, four orange triangles forming a compass on the right of it. There's where KPTV and orange check on the right of it. There's an orange number 12. And coming off of the bottom left of the number one, there's a there's an orange line. On the right of the number two, there's a orange shape. And there's an orange and black shape. 
Just look at this a trouble hat. So yeah, now you know. And the whole logo is on a white. Is, the whole logo is on a black background. So that's pretty much it here. 1960, 1970, the tribal has been removed. The uh, the, the, the twelve in the line are now black, and the, the word KPTV is now in dark green text, and the and, and tribal is now green, and the background is now white. So that's all I gotta say about here. 1970 to 1975, we have the word K. We have letters K and P in blue text. On the right, there are letters T and V in light blue text. Under them, there is a word Portland in blue text. On the right, there is a white number twelve on the blue outline, and the whole logo is on a white background. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. 1975 to 1976, we have the words of Chris Kraft and Station in white text under them. There are so many, many, there's, there's so many numbers. That there, there, there's, we have a gold number 12, the, 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 the written seven times, and under the fourth number 12, uh, there are the letters KMP in golden text under them. There are letters CMP in black text on a golden online. And under them, there's a portfolio in golden text. And the whole logo on a black background. So. Yeah, now you know. 1976 to January 1995, we have, we have a black shape on a white background that resembles number 12, connected to a white, uh, connected to a black rectangle. So yeah, so what so, so I say right here. 1976 to 1984, the white rectangle, uh, the, the background's been moved, and now on the left of the shape, there's more KPTV and black text. So yeah, now, now you know. Uh, here are six other network IDs. 1984 to 1988, the, the word KPTV has been moved, and the shape is now red uh, on a silver outline, and is now on a black background. So now you know. Here is a variant that says the other team on, the other team is on us. 1988, 1993, the outline has been removed. The, 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 the twelve shape is now silver, and now we're the words KPTV and Portland in white text. So now, now you know. That's all I got to say about here. Here are so, uh, here are eight other versions, including the last one being including the last one being taken from a promo of to, to Jaws two. So yeah, now you know. 1993 to January 1985, the uh, the, 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 the the words KPTV and Portland have been removed. The, the, the background has been removed. Uh, the twelve shape is now black, and now right there are words. There's where KPTV and black text on the right there, and around everything there's where Portland in black text, but now it is but it is vertical. So now you know, and the whole logo is on the white background. So that's pretty much it. January to September 1995, we have a black, blue, and silver background, and on it there are three silver shapes. A circle, a triangle, and a square, and on it there are letters U, P, and N in black text. On the right, all those shapes, there's a blue number 12, and on the bottom right of it, there are the, there's where KPTV in white text. So, yeah, that's all I say. That's pretty much shape here. Here is an alternative version and the print version. September 1995 to 1996, we have, we have a background that's true. That's watery. We have a watery background. And on it, there's a purple rectangle. Inside, there's where, uh, inside, there's, there's a wait, red number 12. And on the number 2, there's where KPTV in white text. On the bottom right of the, uh, on the bottom right of the, uh, Purple red tackle, there's a yellow red tackle inside. There are three purple shapes, a circle, a triangle, and a square, and on them, there are letters UPNN in white text. And on the yellow red tackle, there's a word portrait in white text. So, yeah, that's all I got to say here. That's pretty much it here. Uh, 1996 to 2002, we have the word organs in black text on the right of it. There's a uh, blue green shape that looks like organ. Uh, we have a blue green state of organ, and inside there's a word number 12, and under it, uh, under the state of organ, there's a word KPTV in black text on the right of it. There are three, well, there are three silver shapes, a circle, a triangle, and a square. Uh, a circle, a triangle, and a square, and on up there are letters UPNN in, in, in black text, and under all the shapes, there's a black line, and all those on the white background, so, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Here is the virus version, and the and the sunset version, and you know, um, 2002, we have an unused version, uh, for when we become a, for when we became a Fox affiliate, it became, there, there's an unused version of the logo, so here we have a, uh, so if you have, have a uh, silver and blue right take on, and, and on the silver part, there's where Fox in gray text, on the, on, on the blue part, there's, there's a silver number 12. So yeah, now you know. That's all I gotta say about here. And finally, 2012 to the, finally 2002 to the present. Yeah, and finally 2002 to the present. We have the word. We have a black red tickle inside. Where's Fox? A white text on the right. And on the right red tickle, there's a black number 12. And on the right, there's a blue red red tickle inside. That's where Oregon and white text. So yeah, that you gotta say about here. Here's the green version. And guys, it's time to close out the uh, time to close out 2020 side with the final logo of 2020 KPDX. Here we go, guys. It's about to go down. So here we go, and this logo was requested was also was also requested by the Mystery Fan 2020. So thank you for the request, of Mystery Fan 2020. Again, the link to his channel will be in the description below. So go check it out. Now let's close out this episode once and for all. Here's the show part for those who don't know what KPA, PDX is. KPDX Virtual Channel 49, you and Chef Digital Channel 30 is a Nevada for TV affiliated television station, the serving Portland, Oregon, United States, that's licensed to Vancouver, Washington. As such, it is the only major commercial station in Portland that is licensed to the Washington side of the market. KPDX is owned by the Meredith Local Media Society of the Moy Iowa based Meredith Corporation as part of a duopoly with Portland licensed Fox affiliate KPTV Channel 12. The station shares studios on Northwest Greenbrier Parkway in Beaverton. KPDX's transmitter is located in the Sylvan Highlands section of Portland. However, master control and some internal operations are based at Meredith's West Coast facility at the shared studios of CBS affiliate KPHO TV and independent station KTV 
KTVK in Phoenix, Arizona. On cable, KPX is available on Channel 13 on Comcast Xfinity and other providers in the, in the market. The station's signal is relayed in Central Oregon through translator station KUPNLD Channel 9 in Bend, making the station available in, in about two-thirds of the state. Since February 2018, KPDX has been branded as Fox 12 Plus, an extension of the branding used by KPTV. So, yeah, now you know, as we take a look at says here, the station called ads are KPTV branded as Fox 12 Plus, network affiliations with network TV, launched dates March 30th, 1981, owned by Vanderbilt Corporation, through KPDX, KPTV, through KPTV, KPDX, Broadcasting Corporation, headquarters are people in Oregon, United States, and they do not have a slogan, and the website is www.kptv.com slash fox underscore 12, 12 underscore plus uh, slash. So, yeah, that's really it. The link will be in the description below. And now, with that being said, the final logo of the day, here we go, the logo is of KPDX. 1983 to 1982, we have a platform 49 with a, with a, with a negative space transparent, the uh, lines crossing, passing through it, and all right, there's where KPT, there's where KPDX and black text. So that's, that's pretty much it. Here's the TV version, the Fox version, and the, 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 the their old number ID, another number ID with channel 13 on cable on it, and we have the, and we have another print version with the Fox logo. So that's pretty much it. And there's also, and there's another version, and also another version with the Fox 49 on it. On it. I know. Um, that's 92 to 95. We have uh, we have a yellow red tag inside. There's for Fox and. A blue text and connected to it, there's a blue shape, and under another our fox, there's a blue line, under it, there's another blue shape. And on it, there are two white searchlights. Um, the, we have the searchlights passing through our X and the word fox. On the right, on the right, the searchlights, there, there are four. Uh, there's a yellow number 49, under the shape, there are the words, there's where KPT, there's, there's where KPDX and black text. ABCZ and blue text. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here is their number ID, you know, here's their search ID, as well as this, and another search ID with all their translators. So yeah, now you know here. 975 to 979, we have a black rectangle inside. There are two, there are four yellow searchlights, and between them, there's four fox and yellow text. And on the right, there, connected to that black rectangle, there's a yellow square inside. There's a blue, and then there's a black number 49. And in the middle of the number 9, there's a there's a black circle. And under everything, there's another black rectangle inside. That words KPDX, supported in yellow text. And between them, there's a yellow dot. Now you know. And no! That's that, that the number 49. Uh, I know. And no, that the number 49 resembles a smiling face looking to the right. Okay? Good. There you go. So now you know. Here is the Fox 49. The, here's the Fox News, a 10 version used for the newscast, and we have and we have a variant for Fox 49. So now you know. Um, 1999, 2002, same as the previous logo, except the searchlights have been removed. The the the, 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 the searchlights have been removed. The red tick, uh, 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 the black red tickle at the bottom has been removed, and the words are now and the word keys and words KPX important are now in black text, and the dot between them is now black as well. So yeah, now you know. Uh, here is the Fox 49 news version used for their opening newscasts. Um, 2002, 2006, we have an orange cube, and on it there's a white circle on a black outline, and inside there are large UPN in the uh, in, in black text. But the circle is another perspective, and on the right of the, and on, and on the right side of the cube, there's a there's a black number forty nine, and on and out of the cube, there are the words KBDX important in black text, and between there's a black dot. So, so yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. Um, 2006 to 2008, we have a black shape, and inside uh, we have a black shape on a orange outline. Inside there's the, the, there's a word PDX in white text, and on the right of the shape, there's a white circle on a black outline, and inside there's a black number forty nine. And the whole logo is on the white background, so yeah, now you know. Um, 2008 to 2018, say it's the previous logo, except the, except the, uh, the, the background's been removed. The, the, the outline of the shape is now blue. The third point nine has been removed. The, the, the third point nine has been removed. The circle is now silver on a white, blue, and black outline. And now inside, there's more TV and white text. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. That's pretty much it for the logo. But I guess that here. And finally, there's 18 to the breast. We have a blue rectangle inside. There's a fox and white text. On the right, the rectangle, there's a silver number 12. On the right, there's a plus in silver text. On the right, there's a yellow plus sign. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say over here. But that's pretty much it. But guys, that's it. It's over. Thank you all for watching this final episode, episode of Lego History 2 for 2020. Yay! Man, could have done it without you guys. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, share with your friends, leave a comment below, and subscribe with notifications turn on to not miss another new video from me as we're on the road to 600 subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all for 500 subscribers. You guys rock. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I'm going to be such as you be yourself, and I will see you next time on Lego History 2. Also, don't forget to request a logo for the next episode in the comments down below. You've got 24 hours to, uh, to request a logo. Any logo that I see, uh, see, we'll be in the next episode of Lego History 2 in 2021. So please keep an eye out for it. It'll be on episode 11. As will be for episode 11 of Local History 2. 
So keep your eyes open because you never know which logo you may see next. Thanks for, thanks for watching, people. We will see you for Semi Kid Origins later on today. Until then, I'm your guys, Sanchez. For everyone here at Logo 2, like, favorite, subscribe. We'll see you guys in another video. Laters!